We must act today in order to preserve tomorrow. Government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. We are a nation that has a government, not the other way around. And this makes us special among the nations of the earth. Our government has no power except that granted it by the people. It is time to check and reverse the growth of government, which shows signs of having grown beyond the consent of the governed. All of us need to be reminded that the federal government did not create the states. The states created the federal government. Now, so there will be no misunderstanding. It's not my intention to do away with government. It is rather to make it work. Work with us, not over us. To stand by our side, not ride on our back. From time to time, we've been tempted to believe that society has become too complex to be managed by self-rule. That government by an elite group is superior to government for, by, and of the people. Well, if no one among us is capable of governing himself, then who among us has the capacity to govern someone else? All of us together, in and out of government, must bear the burden. The solutions we seek must be equitable with no one group singled out to pay a higher price. We hear much of special interest groups. Well, our concern must be for a special interest group that has been too long neglected. It knows no sectional boundaries or ethnic and racial divisions, and it crosses political party lines. It is made up of men and women who raise our food, patrol our streets, man our mines and factories, teach our children, keep our homes, and heal us when we're sick. Professionals, industrialists, shopkeepers, clerks, cabbies, and truck drivers. They are, in short, we the people.